that when you worship, the heavens open and Holy Spirit, God Himself will come and be upon you. And when you minister, you minister with a difference. Because it's not from you, it's from Him. It's His strength, it's His presence, it's His ministry. It will take a miracle and the power of God to break the power of shame in your life. And that's exactly what we must do. Move in the opposite spirit, sing, burst into song, shout for joy. Even when you are struggling with the hidden sin and the hidden shame, don't let it get you. God's voice, the spirit, is always aligned with his word and his nature. His nature is love. God loves imagination. So go forth and imagine, dream, create, as long as it glorifies the Lord. Being prophetic is not about condemnation and judgment. It is about spreading love and encouragement and edification and building up. Watch out, not just the way we present our skills, but the way we present ourselves. Because we are the temple of God. If it's dance, or it's movement, or if it's drawing, or it's sculpture, or it's painting, or it's photography, whatever it is, you need to engage your emotions in it. It's not just lip service, it's not just a head experience. It is an entire being needing to rise up and to say, God, I will come and sing and dance and draw and rejoice because you are good.